Muhammad Ali was a great, great champion. And of course, what a lot of people are hoping is that uh, Tyrell Biggs can emulate Muhammad Ali in being able to defuse the big man. This is the, the Ali did it to Liston, he did it to Foreman, he did it to Fraser. Can Tyrell Biggs do that? And the Olympic theme being played, and you saw that graphic a moment ago that seven champions, Olympic gold medalists, have gone on to be heavyweight champions. Of course, four of those seven did not win Olympic heavyweight titles. Muhammad Ali, Floyd Patterson, and both the Spinks brothers. And of course, one thing that Tyrell Biggs is gonna to have to think about, at least somewhere in the back of his mind, is that serious cut that he suffered against David Bay. And you can see over the left eye, took 30 some stitches to close that. And there on the right of your screen is the scar tissue that was left from that. I'll say this, however, if he gets hit with right hands there, it isn't the cut he's gonna to have to worry about. <laughs> That's a, that is a valid point. You know, we talked about the fact, and Larry alluded to it, that he has been criticized in several of his most recent fights, and yet people are really giving him a legitimate chance just to kind of go back and tell you a little bit. When he fought Rod Smith, that was the first fight he had after he broke his collarbone against Sims. He said that he was a little bit tentative, and he didn't really use the right hand in that fight. Then he fought Purcell Davis. That's the gentleman that I mentioned at 254 pounds who really offered no resistance, and he said, that his bombs were more dud than they were dynamite. Biggs has been trying to make the transition from an amateur to a professional, to being more aggressive. And in so doing, he's been catching punches. Uh, the question is whether